I did a video like this one many, many years ago, but since then I've learned so much more about hamster care and proper hamster enrichment. So I wanted to redo that and show you physically why small cages like this one just aren't suitable. This enclosure here is advertised as a starter enclosure, which really no animal's home should be a starter. They should just start out with a, a good home. <laughs> But this enclosure here is 9 inches tall by 15 inches long and 10 inches wide, giving you a total of 150 square inches of floor space and a base pan depth of 2.5 inches. And this is around the average size a pet store cage is going to be. Some may be slightly larger, some may be even smaller, um, but I don't think it really matters because either way they are still too small. So the first thing that you would do when you're setting up your hamster's enclosure is you're going to provide them with bedding. If you didn't know, hamsters are burrowers, so they can burrow really, really deep in the wild. They create these really intricate systems where they have storage for their food, um, an area to go to the bathroom, a nest area, and just multiple different little chambers for them to do different things, have different purposes. So. In captivity, we should be providing them with deep substrates so that they're able to replicate something similar to how they would in the wild. So a suitable amount of bedding for your hamster to actually be able to burrow and perform a natural behavior would be around six inches at minimum, but I personally would recommend 10 inches of bedding. Now with a pan depth of only 2.5 inches, you're never going to be able to provide your hamster with the amount of bedding they need to actually create a burrow. But we can try. Okay, let's see. This is going to be a big mess, so um, let's see, where's my tape measure? I've managed to kind of fit four inches, but we have not even placed the uh, lid on, so. The next thing your hamster is going to need in their enclosure is some sort of hideout. This is so that they can have a place to feel safe and some privacy. And a lot of hideouts in the pet store tend to be a little bit too small for the hamster. I myself prefer a multi-chambered hideout, which looks like this. This gives the hamster an opportunity to kind of create those different chambers like we talked about for burrowing. So this one has six chambers in there and then they can kind of burrow under from there. It's kind of like a starter to it. This is a Syrian sized one, but a dwarf sized multi-chamber hideout wouldn't be much smaller. Um, so unfortunately this wouldn't even, this is bigger than the cage itself. So because that doesn't fit, um, I have one of the small igloos here that they sell for hamsters. I'm not a big fan of these as hideouts just because of how opaque it is. Um, it lets a lot of light in, so it's kind of hard for an animal to sleep when there's light coming in. And also it is a plastic, so it can get really humid inside really quick. But it's what's going to fit in here. So we'll have to deal with that. Now, the next thing we're going to need is a wheel, especially with such a small enclosure. For a dwarf hamster, I'd recommend an 8 to 12 inch wheel, and for a Syrian, I'd recommend a 10 to 12 inch wheel. This here is an 11 inch Wodan wheel. So, that would probably... It's not going to fit. <laughs> Um, I also have a 9 inch wheel here. It's It still wouldn't be any better, but maybe we'll just do that. There we go. 
The next thing you're going to need is a sand bath and this is not optional unless your hamster has health issues. A sand bath is a way for the hamster to actually remove excess grease from their coat because they can't be bathed in water and it also provides an enrichment because they like to dig in it or roll in it so it is a necessary item in an enclosure. Now sand baths typically are quite large because it's a small sand bath just isn't going to do the job. <laughs> it's really not going to fit in this because there just is not any room for it. Um, now is probably also the time to mention you should be including multiple different substrates in your hamster's enclosure, um, whether it be some cocoa soil, the sand bath, cork granules, corn cob bedding, beach chips, a variety of different substrates that helps a hamster use its senses. It's a different texture. It enriches them. We're not going to be able to do that with this. So because the sand bath doesn't really fit, we're probably not going to be able to put that in there. So no sand bath for you. The next thing we're going to want to put in our hamster's cage is toys because they do need to be able to do things, but it's a little bit hard with the cage so small. My favorite choices of different enrichment involve cork logs and grapevine wood, as well as some birch tunnels like this and bendable bridges. All of these products are natural items so they can chew on them safely, um, as well as they have a lot of different textures which can definitely give them enrichment. Now the only issue is we're just not going to have much room. Guess we can't put these in there. The last thing I'm going to add into this, um, I personally like to use water dishes for my hamsters. So we'll just put that in there. And also if anybody says this cork log's too big, I also have a smaller version. So maybe we could just, oh, you know what? That made everything so much better. So. Um, and then to top it all off, place your lid on there um, and just have it not fit because you've filled it so much with the proper accessories that it's just not going to fit. Um, and so yeah, that's... This is why small enclosures like this are not suitable because having an enclosure like this means you're only going to be able to provide this. Even with less than bare minimum accessories, the hamster wheel that is pretty much bare minimum for a dwarf hamster isn't even going to fit into this. I can't clip the lid down because it's it's too tall for this enclosure. Not to mention we've had to remove even more bedding because it's just not going to fit, which the hamster doesn't get to burrow then. All we've been able to fit in here is a transparent hideout that's really not the best for them and a wooden tunnel. No sand bath, no other accessories, no multiple substrates, no deep bedding, no suitable sized wheel would be able to fit. I hope that kind of puts it into perspective as to why cages this small just aren't suitable. A hamster should not have to live with less than bare minimum. A hamster should not just have to live into a cage that has very little bedding and a hideout and a wheel and a water and food dish. That is not a thriving pet and that is doing less than the bare minimum for your pet. They need to be able to have enrichment so that they can be happy and perform natural behaviors. When they can't do that, your hamster is just going to end up in a life of boredom and stress um, and likely just become super lazy because there is nothing else for them to do. I personally would recommend an enclosure with at least 800 square inches of floor space because that is going to be able to allow you to provide at least the bare minimum of supplies and enrichment. And I'll show you. So inside of this 20 by 40 inch square, we would be able to fit a proper sized wheel. 
a suitable sized and enriching hideout, a proper sized sand bath, and room for other types of enrichment. And we even have room for the water dish. So as you can see, this enclosure size is able to fit everything a hamster would potentially need to thrive. And keep in mind, even an enclosure this size can still have an unhappy hamster. This is how important cage size is to a hamster. They need so much room and so many different things for them to do and keep their brains occupied so that they can actually thrive. Hamsters are not novelty decoration pets that you can just put into a tiny enclosure and keep them in your living room and do absolutely nothing with. So I really hope this puts it into perspective for anybody who may have a small enclosure. I have a lot of other videos on cage size as well as hamster enrichment and how to provide proper hamster enrichment that I will leave linked and I hope this has been able to open some people's minds as to why small store-bought cages like that one are not suitable for a hamster. So yeah guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!